Hello, welcome. I'm Ellie. We're going to build this, but not this today because we've already built this. We're going to build another... <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going with this. So this is little Anna's bedroom, my version of her bedroom with a massive doll's house in it. And little Elsa's bedroom with connecting door has got an insanely large snow drift in it. So today it is time for a tiny aerial bedroom and... We have to have a normal princess style bedroom kind of thing themed for Ariel, but we have to have something insane as well that works like over the top OTT for her personality and for her story. So to do that, let's start. I always like to start with like one of these plates, these, what are these, 16, 16 by 8 plates as my blank canvas. Uh, but I can't do that today because I actually need to have a hole in this. So I can't just cut a hole in it, so I have to use individual bits. So let's see, we're probably going to add on to it, but that's where I like to start. This is, this is my starting spot. So hole here. So if I put these around like that, that should fit. I'd like it a bit closer to the side. No, it'll do. It'll do. We'll, we'll start with that. So that's already longer than the initial plate that I was going to use. But it's fine. We just work with this. Uh, right. Okay. So I'm going to use this to hold these together over here. And this little hole here is going to be uh, an opening for the bath because this is Ariel, right? She needs to have water around her close by close close by so her bedroom is going to have a bath Yeah, a bathroom in it. Maybe just a bath. I wonder how much room we'll have definitely a bath It's not gonna be a proper bathroom. It's just gonna be a bath and I was thinking if I said bath enough times I was thinking that I might make the bath ostentatiously insane like the other things in the other princesses rooms But no, this is not gonna be this is not where I'm going with this. I have a plan. So at the back, we're going to put a lotus flower because they float on the top of the water, right? So that's going to be perfect for this because this is the top of our watery section. And a little bath mat on this side. Color scheme that I'm working with is going to be magenta pink, uh, teal, mint, and dark blue if I can. And this is going to be a candle. For, yeah, for beautiful for the bathroom can for the bathroom I'll see if I can fit another one on the other side but I'll do that in a minute so this is the bath idea let's get her let's make her a bed so I'm gonna use this piece which came out of one of the many aerial sets this piece as her pillow and I just need to make it more princessy and just look more royal this has to be yeah, this has to definitely look like it belongs in a palace. So we're going to add these tassel bits on the end. But oh, let's put some, oh, let's use gold. Let's like use gold embellishments everywhere. So these gold rings are just totally, <laughs> totally too much. So it's perfect. We'll put one on the other side too. So that, oh, it just blings it up so well. I think I like it that way. All right. So this is going to be on our hinged, a hinged piece uh, so that we can hinge it and like angle it for the pillow for the bed. These are going to be the base bits for the bed. There's a lot of bees, but I got them all out. So that's good. <laughs> it was a good day. Uh, and dark blue off the end. And I know it looks as though that we're missing a bit here, but bear with me. It's going to work. I think hopefully it will. It's going to. That's the spirit. <laughs> yeah. Self-talk. So it's going to, we've got a blue bed and it's going to have a dark blue bedspread. White sheet turned over at the top and in those spaces, we're going to use some more gold as bed posts. So I can top it with another one of these insanely gorgeous rings and a see-through pink bit. So does that look? Yeah, look at that. We need another one for the other side. <laughs> this, is, this is so much fun just making it so ornate. Uh, but not I don't I don't want it too cutesy. I actually want it to look very elegant now these micro dolls <laughs> She's not gonna be overly comfortable on there, but that's just too bad. That's the way she's made We're making her for show here. This is for show not for her to actually <laughs> be comfortable hanging out in So sad for the micro dolls. So we've got some feet on so we're gonna install it here over that blue Blue smooth tile that we put in and then we can put this here Look at that bad fit for a princess, a mermaid princess. He's not currently a mermaid. Okay, so there's not a lot of room left here. And that's by design. This is this is intentional. Let's now put, I say, I say it's intentional. Let's put, let's put some mint pieces down to line the back and blue, like kind of little curtainy bits going in on the side of the bed kind of looks like curtaining. And I want to make a really ornate backdrop for the bed. So if I use these yeah maybe two of them because they look kind of sea foam wavy kind of look too 
and they just they just pick it up so nicely but that actually looks a little bit more modern than I want does that make any sense so we're going to embellish them so if we put some how many of these have got uh, so if we put some see-through pink pieces alternating down here and then the same thing up at the top and I know I've left gaps here but don't worry because I'm gonna fill them I intend to fill them that looks pretty good without it but I do I do think I should fill them I'm gonna fill them with more gold we're gonna have gold embellishments and see-through pink embellishments that look so pretty <laughs> so nice so let's oh, I might just put more pink on here so it's feeling yeah I kind of like it before but no it'll do it'll it's nice it's nice more gold over here and yeah that's beautiful and then some more gold little dots up on the top and then let's install this behind the bed and just check it actually does look all right Ooh, that's schmancy that's really nice okay and maybe some watery elements up here too with some see-through blue and then some more mint to go across and then more see-through blue on the side because that looks really elegant and it fits her story and it just looks really it looks so nice okay this side now the bathtub side we'll continue the wall along here around the corner uh, I want some, another real a little showcase window behind the bathtub too so maybe just a little one though so that the if I have this narrow one going up here and alternate those with the pink the see-through pink tiles that looks lovely but I have an idea because I want even more I mean if the word of the day is ornate because these tiles are insanely beautiful these came in one of the Chinese New Year sets and I just want a billion of them but I don't have a billion of them so I'm gonna make do with what I have and I think I'm gonna do them lengthways so upwards in a stripe on either side of our window that's so pretty look at that <laughs> I love me an intricately patterned tile but I need to sit it up a bit because it doesn't fit there on top of the bathtub so that looks nice with the blue there I think and then look let's just fill this little space that's missing up here with some more gold and then do the same thing on the other side so this is going to frame the bathtub we need some more of those beautiful tiles oh my goodness they're gorgeous all right and then we can just backfill the rest of the spaces because we've really got a lot of patterning going on here so we don't want to make it too busy i reckon i could put a, a, yeah, a shelfy thing in the corner and i can yeah duplicate that that candle on this side so let's build a shelf out a bit maybe we could put some more things on this i mean if we're going to build a shelf we're going to want more than just a candle so let's put the candle down here uh and actually that candle's going to be a bit I can't put another thing on top that's too tall for this section so we'll leave that empty for the moment and we'll decide what else we're going to put on that in a second but let's put this bit up here let's put the candle up on the next shelf we'll get this all the way to the top and yeah oh that looks really nice because they offset each other that's really pretty <laughs> oh my gosh okay more blue around the corner and now oh I need to backfill these spaces up here so dark blue across here and then some more blue along there not the mint because this is the bathroom section so I think all that blue looks really really nice oh okay really really happy in here we've got a space so we're gonna make a tiny separator between the bedroom and the bathroom like just the tiniest one and use these scroll work tiles but we're going to use them on the edges of everything so over here one over here and we'll put the the yeah, gold embellishment underneath and one no hold on that one's one stud back doesn't matter it looks cool okay <laughs> I like it I like how it's a bit off center and we're going to use we're going to use some of the coral the vibrant coral shells as ornaments around the bathroom they're totally perfect for Ariel so we've got this space down here on the bottom shelf we'll put a big shell on there shelf 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 let me make sure I get these words right this one here I'm gonna need a stud with a hole in it so I can put this curly the cone shell up here putting the taller one at the back starfish on the front there and this little space that's at the front we can put a little shell there oh my goodness it looks so nice and some pearls on our little exposed studs here does that look all right I think it goes okay it's a really luxe I love it I reckon we could have a couple of uh, splashed water drops out here so I don't know quite maybe I could put one here and then maybe that will sit on no it does not sit on the top of that I thought there might be enough clearance underneath that shell to put a tile underneath it but there's not so let's move these around a bit because at the moment they look a bit 
No, I still don't like that. Let's move the back one back one more and that will... <gasps> that looks better. I don't know why, it just works better. It just looks more aesthetically right for me. So now all we need to do is align the top with magenta pink tiles just to tie all of these walls in so that they don't fall apart when I lift it up. And plus the colour just looks so neat up there. So nice. All right. Hmm. Okay, so this is where we have got. We have made a beautiful bedroom with an ensuite bathroom. Did we forget about the fact that this Ah, bathtub has got a massive hole in it and is currently a hole to nowhere. Well, it's not, that is not the plan. This hole has got a plan. It's got, I bet you have an idea as to what that plan is. I need you to let me know in the comments because we're going to find out what goes under this bedroom. This is just the tip of the iceberg. So I'm going to leave Ariel chilling in her bathtub in her mermaid form. See, she's got to have, she's got that sound really weird, <laughs> form. She's got to have the bathtub close to her bed, keeping her close to water at all times. I mean, water is, I mean, so deeply ingrained in her origin story, in, in who she is, in the essence of who Ariel is. So speaking of water, okay, subscribe. Make sure you click the notification bell if you haven't already done so because you don't want to miss the next part of the video. And yeah, be, be back. Come back. It will be up very soon. <laughs> so I will see you then. Bye.